Hey everyone, it's John, and this is gonna be a review on this Hazard 4. This is their hard shell pillbox uh, backpack. And while you can put anything in here, it really is most suited towards more sensitive items like optics, you know, if you're carrying around range finders, uh, you know, scopes, things like that, spotting scopes, or camera equipment. It works really good for camera equipment. Um, and the reason for that is this is not just a standard backpack, it is a hard shell. As you can see here, I'm pushing it. It's almost like one of those, uh, you know, roll behind travel cases that's hard. Uh, it's not that hard, but it is, um, it's hard like that. It's not going to compress like a standard backpack. And I'll just go over what the, uh, all the compartments look like. So our top compartment here, which this is the top hard shell. We're gonna open this up and this doesn't open up all the way. It just opens like this. And I wanna show you, you can actually add or take away the ventilation. All these ventilation holes here on the back, they have little covers for them. And you can either have it vented or not vented, which I thought was pretty cool. You've got a slot here, slot here. This works really good for papers, things like that. And then you have more of your uh, admin pouches. So you got a bunch of different little pouches in here for pens, flashlights, things like that. We have a sleeve here. This actually works really good for a laptop if you are using this other pouch over here for something else, which I will show you what I have in mind. So if I ever carry a laptop, it goes in here or an iPad, something like that. Works really good. And then we'll get into the main compartment here, which is right here. And this is your big one. This opens up all the way. First of all, this right here is the soft side of Velcro, so you can attach stuff in here. This is a whole mounting system inside here. Once again, this is all hard shell. This is a hard side, and so nothing is getting crushed in here. Um, this stuff all moves around. You can see how I can pull these out. This comes with a bunch of these little dividers. So you can set this up for anything that you want. If you have a big piece of uh, equipment, you can put it here. If you needed to move this and create a little square over here for a camera lens or something like that, you can make this your own. You can turn this whole space into whatever you need it to carry, which is great. So, and, and also you can pack things in. You can put in a camera lens and, and tighten it in so that it's not gonna be moving around, which is great. And that I think is the main draw why somebody would want a backpack like this. Then next we have a third compartment over here. And this once again has that same uh, Velcro seat. This is the mounting system. You can attach stuff to it. And I have actually some soft body armor in here, but this would work well for a laptop. Um, but I just have body armor in this one because I put my laptop here in the front. <clears throat> as far as the straps, this thing is very well built. You do have the cross uh, sections here, to uh, oh, right here, to attach, to keep it from sliding off your shoulders, which is very important. A lot of padding here, and you'll notice a lot of venting. So this is, a, this is designed for backpacking and carrying stuff in and out of the woods, but just your more uh, sensitive stuff that may be a little bit more, you need to be more careful with. Also, I want to point out that the top here is reinforced the buckles and this is not something I've seen on a whole lot of other backpacks you can adjust almost how far up this rides uh, because instead of it riding down like this you can attach it like this and you can tighten these with these little straps here and just make sure that everything is really tightened down so it just keeps that backpack up and kind of almost on top of your shoulder blades which is where you want it you carry the weight a little bit better there very sturdy handle here up top and then we do have our base belt here. Most of the time I don't use this and I just keep it down below, but in the event that you did have a ton of weight in here, you would probably want that or if you were going a very long distance. So overall, this is a pretty unique backpack to be able to carry things that are a little bit more fragile because of that hard um, nature of it, which, which is great. And that's a quick review on this. Thanks so much for watching and enjoy the rest of your day.